Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are physically here at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited's conference room located on Chapel Street, and those who are joined via the World Wide Web, whether it be on Microsoft Teams, YouTube, or Facebook, we are happy to have you. Welcome to Synergy, a hybrid member engagement forum. And this is the first in a series of, of forums that will be or fora that will be organized by the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited's Education Committee. Now I don't want to say too much about the Education Committee as yet because we have the chairperson of that committee who will be addressing us shortly. But just as a way of protocol, I want to acknowledge the General Manager of the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited, Mr. G. Sidney Newton, who is seated at the head table. Mr. Newton. We also have, thank you, we also have the Chairman of the Credit Union's Education Committee and a member of the Board of Directors. He is Mr. Dwight Morton. Mr. Morton, good afternoon. I equally want to recognize members of the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited, those of you who are joined via the World Wide Web, and those who are physically here at the Credit Union's conference room, as well as members of staff. So to all, a pleasant good afternoon. And thank you very much for giving us an hour or so of your time as we engage you, tell you about the exciting new product that the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited is happy to roll out, as well as an existing product that is possibly one of the best kept secrets. But after today, it will no longer be a secret because nothing in the credit union should be a secret. It is so good that we want everyone to know. So without any further ado, I will invite the chairman of the education committee in Mr. Dwight Morton to come to the podium and deliver opening remarks and he will speak a bit about the education committee. Let us welcome Mr. Dwight Morton. Thank you, Madam Chair, J.D. Keynes. Protocol being established. I just want to say that I'm very happy this afternoon to be here in this conference room of the Nevis Credit Union. I'm very delighted, very, very delighted because this is something that has been long in coming, and we are very happy that we are able today to launch or relaunch in a meaningful way the Education Committee of the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union. I want to thank the committee members who are here. I don't want to name them, but you know who you are. I want to. Thank you for being here. And I want to thank our members. She's got to be a member in the back who is here. And all those members who are viewing, I want to welcome you this afternoon again to this activity. One of the things I want to do, first of all, is to inform you of the purpose of the Education Committee. And that is found in the Education Committee's charter. And so I'm going to just read a little bit from the charter of the purpose of the committee. The Education Committee of the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union shall be responsible for planning and delivering various educational activities approved by the Board of Directors as part of the NCCU's strategic plan an annual operations business plan and budget. The Education Committee shall assist management by identifying members of staff, as well as leaders and experts in the credit union industry to participate in the various educational activities. And I think I see an expert in the back will be able to use you at some point in time. That's you. I'm pointing at you. And then you want to know about the scope? 
the Educational Committee shall explore and develop educational programs and products in response to the needs of the credit union membership and or upon the request of the board and management. The Education Committee shall evaluate the NCCU's current educational programs for relevance and recommend activities and initiatives in response to the changing needs of the NCCU's membership. Let me say that I personally, as the chairperson, I've always felt that the credit union has suffered as a result of the lack of education of its membership. I don't mean that the members are not educated. I'm referring to the lack of knowledge as far as the credit union services are concerned. That is what I'm referring to. And so this afternoon, we want to familiarize the members with various products and services that we are offering. And in some cases, I must say that some of the members don't even know that some services exist, and that is a problem. If you're offering 10 services and they only know about two or three, then we are losing out. And so we want to correct that. They're the saying, the people suffer for a lack of knowledge. And I want to say our membership and the credit union itself has suffered because of a lack of knowledge being imparted to its membership. And so we are happy to acquaint the membership and prospective members of what is available at the credit union. And in so doing, we believe we can widen and expand the membership through this platform that we have this afternoon and all other platforms that we may choose to use in the future. We feel that if the membership get a good grasp of the services that we offer, they will find it difficult to patronize any other financial institution, even if their interest rates are 1% or 2%. They will want to come to the credit union because of what we are offering to them. But they need to be told. They need to know what is being offered. And so the Education Committee has a very important role to play in making the membership aware of what we are offering. If I do not hear offering product B in your business, I probably wouldn't come there because as far as I know you're not offering it. I'm not aware of it. That is why advertisement is so critical. You advertise to the public, that the public become aware of what you have to offer. And so this afternoon, we are, what we're doing is advertising, marketing, informing the membership of what we have to offer. And we believe what we have to offer is as good or better than the commercial banks. In fact, the commercial banks offer some similar services, but a lot of what we are offering, they do not offer. And so today we want to focus on just two. We want to focus on the AP and the LP. I myself will be happy to sit down and learn a bit more about those two, serve, those two insurance products that we are offering to our membership. And so this afternoon, I consider it to be basically a very historic occasion where for the first time Apart from the AGM, this is the first time we are using a form of this nature to reach our membership. Right now, I don't know how many persons are viewing. I'm hoping it's about 2,000. But wherever you are, I want you to, this afternoon, listen carefully to what we have to say in terms of the products that we're offering and see whether or not, having heard what we have to offer, whether or not you will not be inclined to patronize the Navy's cooperative credit union in a very big way. And so, I'm hoping that this forum 
will meet the objectives that you have set and the desired outcomes will result from what you have set out to do. So I want to thank you again, those who are here and those who are viewing. Thank you for being a part of this meeting. And by the end of the meeting, I guarantee you that you will learn a whole deal about what the credit union has to offer. Thank you very much. And do listen carefully to what we have to say to you. Thank you. We want to thank Mr. Dwight Morton, the chairperson of the Credit Unions, the Nevis Cooperative Credit Unions Education Committee, for giving us the overview of the Education Committee and letting us know exactly why we are here. Now, for those of you who have a program, you would recognize, and those of you who saw the flyer, you would recognize that in addition to the Nevis Credit Unions logo, there is a logo by CUNA Caribbean Insurance. Now, CUNA will be making a presentation to us this afternoon. As a matter of fact, they are the ones who will really break down the specifics as it relates to these two products that we will be promoting today, the AP, Advanced Protector, and the LP, Loan Protector. So we definitely want to recognize the CUNA representatives who have joined us virtually, and we thank you so much for being a part of this session today. Now, we mentioned that Mr. Morton is the chairperson of the Education Committee, and we also mentioned that he's a member of our Board of Directors. So naturally, a lot of the work will have to be done by persons who are physically at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union on a day-to-day -day basis. So allow me now, I know she doesn't want to be recognized, but we will recognize the Deputy Chair of the Education Committee, our HR Manager, Ms. Juliet Shiverton. She's with us as well. Up next, we will hear from our general manager, Mr. Sidney Newton. Now, Mr. Newton will speak about the relationship between the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union and CUNA Caribbean Insurance. We've had a very fruitful and robust relationship. And as you can see, the relationship seems to be going from strength to strength as they've rolled out another product and they are entrusting us to bring in some additional business and sharing with our members. And you know that the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union would not sign on to anything that is not beneficial to our members. So they have that confidence in us, you have that confidence in us, and Mr. Newton will come now and speak to us about that long-standing relationship. Mr. Newton. Thank you, Madam Chair. Person, Ms. J.D. Keynes, who is also the Marketing and Education Officer at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union. Protocol having been established, permit me to acknowledge Mr. Morton, Dwight Morton, Chair of the Education Committee and Director, as well as the representatives of CUNA, based both in St. Kitts and in Trinidad. Synergy, as you have heard, is a hybrid member engagement forum which falls under one of eight strategic themes or key result areas outlining the Nevis Credit Union Strategic Plan 2023 to 2025. And it is found under caption People Development. The objective of the, in this initiative is to conduct educational sessions for the general membership. And we have been so generous that we have extended, extended it not only to the general membership, but to prospective members as well. The topic that we have chosen, as you have heard from Mr. Morton, for the first engagement is credit risk mitigation. That has been selected because of the importance of credit to the credit union. Credit risk uh, mitigation is a process by which a company or cooperative reduces its exposure to credit risk, involving, uh, in, which involves assessing credit worthiness, monitoring credit profiles, and managing risk to prevent revenue loss and to ensure a healthy balance sheet and cash flows. So there are four common risk mitigation strategies. Avoidance, reduction, 
transference, and acceptance. And so, CUNY Mutual Group, through which we are, uh, which, in which we, are, which, which we are partnering, through CUNY Caribbean Insurance Society Limited, has been a partner with the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union since 1972 at inception in the area of risk transference. And the product that was introduced then was the loan protection or LP insurance. Ms. Kane mentioned, Ms. Kane's mentioned that it is the best kept secret because many of our members do not know about it. This afternoon, we are here to promote a new product, the Advanced Protector or AP Insurance, which was launched last year uh, for borrowing members. And it covers loans up to $350,000. Put together, the loan insurance products combined cover up to $400,000 worth of loans, of which the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union pays for $50,000. That is free to the member. That is the secret that members do not know. And the other 350000 would be paid for by the members. And so it is in this context that we have asked CUNA uh, Caribbean Insurance Society Limited to assist us by making this presentation this afternoon so that our members and prospective members could be more informed about these two products. And so without any further ado, I will take my seat and um, allow Ms. Keynes to introduce our pre presenters formally. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Newton. And a round of applause for CUNA Insurance because they have been with us since the inception. So a round of applause. And at this time, we are going to turn it over to Jarrell Jordan, the CUNA representative who I mentioned earlier, has joined us virtually. She will speak to the Advanced Protector AP for short, as well as the Loan Protector LP for short. Now, you will have an opportunity, persons online as well as those of you who are physically here, to ask questions. To, so just take note of your questions because you will get the opportunity to do so rather than during Ms. Jordan's presentation. If you are in MS Teams, Microsoft Teams, your question will come by you raising your hand and we will open the microphone so that you can then ask your question. If you are on Facebook or YouTube and you want to type a question in the chat forum, you are free to do so and we will be sure to raise that question. So now, Ms. Jordan, we thank you so much for joining us and we turn it over to you to tell us why tell our members and prospective members why the advanced protector and the loan protector are insurances that they should sign on to. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, a round of applause for Ms. Jordan. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, we just wanna have a little technical setup um, to the person who's doing the IT. I need to have permission to share my screen, please. Uh, is everyone hearing me well? Any challenges with my Trini accent? I'm going to go as slowly as I can. We know that Trinis have a, a habit of speaking very, very quickly, so I'm being very conscious of it. <laughs> I hope everyone is well this afternoon. Okay, great. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get started. 
So as was mentioned, my name is Jarelle Jordan, and I am the Assistant Manager of Strategy, Projects and Analytics at CUNA Caribbean Insurance, based in Trinidad and Tobago. I am here with my colleague, Cashman Thompson Hope, who is our Sales Manager in our St. Kitts office. It is our pleasure to be with you this evening, and we want to thank the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union for hosting this session and for asking us to share some information about two of our products with your members, the Loan Protection and the Advanced Protector with Credit Disability. But before we get into the products, I want to talk a little bit about what insurance means. So, Life insurance is often viewed as a safeguard against the uncertainties of life, providing a crucial safety net for our loved ones in times of need. And every credit union member should incorporate, should consider incorporating life insurance as part of your overall financial planning strategy and the financial well-being of your families. Now, as Caribbean people, we are somewhat superstitious and we do not like to talk about, least of all, think about death. However, isn't that a part of life? Isn't that a reality of life? At its core, life insurance serves as a powerful tool for protecting the financial security of our families and ensuring their future prosperity. It provides peace of mind knowing that in the event of our passing, our loved ones will be shielded from the financial burdens associated with funeral expenses, outstanding debts, mortgage payments, and daily living expenses. But life insurance is much more than just a safety net. It's also a proactive investment in your future. By securing life insurance coverage, you can create a foundation of financial stability that transcends generations. You know, there's that key word now, generational wealth. It empowers you to leave a lasting legacy for your families, enabling your loved ones to pursue their dreams, pursue higher education, and achieve their fullest percent potential, even if you are not there. As credit union members, we are part of a community founded on the principles of cooperation, mutual support, and empowerment. And life insurance is the perfect synergy, I worked in your word, by seamlessly aligning with those values, strengthening the fabric of our community and ensuring that every member has the resources that they need in order to thrive. So let's start by talking about loan protection. And as was mentioned, loan protection is one of CUNA Caribbean Insurance's oldest products. It's one of our foundation products that most credit unions throughout the Caribbean have and offer to their members. But again, not a lot of members know that this is something that they benefit from. So what is the loan protection? Essentially, it is group insurance. And group insurance in this context means that the credit union is the one that owns the product and they provide, they extend this coverage on behalf of the membership. And it provides coverage on the life of a member who takes out loans up to a selected limit. In this case, Nevis Cooperation uh, Nevis Cooperative, my apologies, has a limit of 50000 that they provide coverage for. So all loans, 50000 and below, are protected in the event of the members passing away or becoming totally and permanently disabled. The members are covered up until age 70. So 70 and below, you are fully covered up to 50000 under this product and you are covered in the event of death, should you pass away, or total and permanent disability. And total and permanent disability here talks about through either illness or injury, if you were to sustain either one and you are medically determined that you can no longer work for any reason whatsoever, and your doctor gives us a report indicating that, then we will pay off your loans on the same basis as if it were a death claim, meaning that we will repay whatever is the outstanding balance of the loan, um, principal and interest. 
um, up to the limit of $50,000. So that debt does not transfer onto your family. So we have a saying, the debt dies with the debtor, and that is what this product is intended to do. Um, this product also provides additional coverages um, up to age 85. And of course, if it is that there are loans outside of this, these are just additional benefits that come with this particular product. So what does it mean for you, the member? Well, the member is, once you take out a loan with your credit union, and it is a loan that is covered under this product, you are automatically covered, meaning that you don't have to sign an enrollment form, you don't have to pay any premiums, your credit union is doing this on your behalf, and they are extending this coverage to you. So again, loans up to 50,000 taken out with Nevis Cooperative means that it is protected, and in the event that you should pass away, or become totally and permanently disabled, your debt will be repaid. In addition to not having to sign up, you don't need to do a medical in order to, do, to get any coverage. It is an automatic benefit that is offered to you by your credit union. And in terms of a benefit to the credit union, again, it is in the event of a member's passing, they do not have unpaid loans staying on the books. By getting the insurance benefit, it is ensured that this loan is repaid and does not adversely affect your delinquency. Now, one of the things that people are often interested in when they talk about insurance are claims. And when you are submitting claims for the LP, um, as we often refer to it, these are just some of the requirements that we ask um, that when you send in a claim that you have to submit to us. So, of course, there is the claim statement. It's a form that we provide that you have to complete at the time of the person's passing. Um, we need proof of death, whether it's a death certificate or any other official documentation. Uh, we also require proof of identification for the deceased and the claimant. Again, your normal, your standard KYC requirements. Uh, in the event of total and permanent disability, if it's a claim for that, then we would need the member's employment record as well as a physician statement, again, for our claims examiners to determine when was the last time they worked, um, you know, and what is the prog prognosis in the event that it is a total and permanent disability claim. And then in addition to all of that as well, we need a copy of their statements and loan records, again, to verify the information and the loans that are covered under LP to ensure that we can pay the benefit to the credit union. Claims have to be submitted along with all of your supporting documents within two years from the date of diagnosis if it's a disability or within six years if it's a, um, a death claim. We generally uh, Contractually, we are providing, we provide a response within 60 days. Um, however, this is impacted by a number of factors. And it all, we have a couple of reasons here. It could be in time, you know, if it is that all of there's a delay with submitting documents at the time of a claim, um, especially loan ledgers, you know, because we need those in, those documents in order to verify the loan details. Um, it could be something as simple as getting a delay from a physician to get their report or the employer's report. Any of those delays in us getting the information to adjudicate the claim would, of course, lengthen the time that a benefit is paid. Yeah? And essentially, that is LP in a nutshell. So I will move on to the next product now, and I will take your questions, if you have any, at the end. So the second product that we're talking about this afternoon is the Advanced Protector with Credit Disability. Now, this is a new product that was recently brought to market a few years ago, and it is being offered to your, your members today. Um, in an effort to provide extra protection. So we have already discussed that the loan protection is being offered to you free of charge by your credit union up to a limit of 50,000. But what of those loans that are over that amount? I mean, we have mortgages that are uh, higher than that. We have other types of loans. So how do we protect those loans from if the unfortunate should happen? 
And this is where this product called the Advanced Protector comes in. So what is it? This is a member paid product. So how this differs from LP is that this product, the member is the one who pays the premium for the coverage. So they can select the type of coverage in terms of the amount for the loans that are in excess of the LP coverage. So loans that are higher than 50,000. Um, of course, if it is that you have members there between the ages of 18 to 75, they can also access this coverage because there is an age criteria. Um, if it is that they are over the age, I'm sorry, under the age of 60, they can also qualify for the credit disability aspect of the coverage. So this coverage provides loan uh, coverage in the event of death or total and permanent disability or temporary disability. And I'll go into it a little bit more. So there, you can have loans up to uh, 350,000. So again, for your mortgages, your car loans, for any of the loans that are over 50,000, you can get coverage up to the maximum of 350,000 under the EP plus your 50,000 from LP. And we provide coverage for the main borrower as well as if they are joint borrowers. So this product allows for a joint loan, if you have any, for the joint borrower to be covered as well. Um, it is if for debt, so if it is that they were to pass away, the outstanding balance of the covered loan plus any accrued interest up to 180 days will be repaid to the credit union. If it is that the uh, primary borrower also becomes totally or permanently disabled, the advanced protector will pay a benefit in the same way as a death benefit where we will pay the outstanding balance of the covered loan plus any accrued interest up to 180 days. Now, this product also has an additional feature. It's called a rider, and it's called the credit disability rider. And what this means is if you have this extra coverage with the advanced protector, if you were to become temporarily disabled, this rider will pay your loan payments for the time that you are ill or injured. So let me just break that down a little bit. So I would have mentioned before, total and permanent disability means that you either illness or injury, you are unable to work at the job you were working at before or any other job. The doctor has indicated that you are no longer able to function to be able to work. However, uh, temporary disability means either illness or injury, you are unable to work for a specific period of time, but you are very expected to recover. So say for example, um, I have a mortgage, it's 20 years. Um, in year five of my mortgage, I got into an accident um, and I was unable to work for six months. And I had rider, this rider, the credit disability rider as coverage um, with my credit union. For the six months I am unable to work, this rider will pay my loan premium, my loan payments. So that means that my loan will stay current and the credit union will not, I won't have to worry, I can focus on recovery, I can focus on getting better, and the credit union won't have to worry about the loans becoming delinquent because this rider will pay the premiums while I am unable to work for that duration. So again, in terms of what are the benefits of it, single and joint coverage available, whether you are taking the loan by yourself or if it is your joint with someone, you can get coverage for both of you. We have coverage for all types of loans, whether it's an auto loan, mortgages, credit, person, personal credit lines, whatever the credit union offers in terms of credit facilities, this can provide coverage for you. Um, and you can also get the disability riders for up to two years. So that temporary disability portion, we can pay your loan payments for up to two years. And again, in talking about claims, because again, people are most interested in claims, when it comes that time, whether it is that the person who is insured has passed away, or they become totally and permanently disabled, or if it's for a temporary disability claim, then it is as simple as 
completing the forms, sending in the proof of death or disability, um, proof of identification, and of course, your account and loan records from your credit union. Again, we try to turn these around as very quickly as possible, but of course, factors affecting the claims, if it is that there are not all of the documents submitted um, at the re at required documents submitted at the time of the claim, or if it is that there's some delay in getting the records to be sent to us. That is the advanced protector. So I open up the floor now for any questions. Thank you very much, Ms. Jordan. I think we have a question already in the chat, um, Gerald. Uh, I see it. Uh, um, Tanisha? The, yes, Tanisha, so yes, this AP is only provided through the credit unions. Uh, so when you become a member and you uh, apply for loans at the credit unions, you can request this coverage for your loans with them, yes. Thank you so much. We also have a question. Um, Tanisha, does that answer your question? In the meantime, we have a question via YouTube. So this one came when you were Any speaking. further questions? Are you hearing me? Anyone seated at the credit union has a question? Yes, good afternoon. Are you hearing me? Yes. Okay, sorry you. about that. I think we were muted briefly. So we want to thank you for that presentation. Um, Tanisha online, I hope that that response was suitable for you. We also have a question via the YouTube platform. The question reads, in case of temporary disability, can the payment be made monthly rather than a lump sum payment? To avoid the loan becoming delinquent if the member cannot make payments while incapacitated. So that came while you were referring to the LP, the loan protector. So the LP is different from the advanced protector. So they're two separate products. The loan protection provides um, a lump sum payment in the event of death or total and permanent disability. So if either of those uh, scenarios occur, then the entire outstanding balance of the loan will be repaid. Uh, under the advanced protector, however, there is the additional coverage I mentioned, which is the credit disability rider, which does provide coverage in the event of temporary disability that will pay your loan payments uh, for the period that you are ill or injured up to two years. Thank you so, so I hope I, I mm -hmm. yes. Thank you so much. We have um, another question via YouTube. Um, and if there's mm -hmm. any in the chat, we can feel those as well. And just for the benefit of the general public, we do have brochures available at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union for mm -hmm. Um, additional information as it relates to both the loan protector and the advanced protector, which is the new one. So just in case you want additional information, you can get that. That's not to say that you don't have to ask questions now. We're just saying that you can get more information after today's forum. So there's another question. Absolutely. Sure. Mm -hmm. There's another question here. It reads, what are pre-existing conditions for CUNA? Because you did reference pre-existing conditions earlier. Mm -hmm. What are mm -hmm. pre-existing conditions under your umbrella? Okay. So pre-existing conditions generally means that if uh, an insured person has been diagnosed with some sort of illness, they've sought, they've sought treatment for some condition, uh, so that means that this is something that's existing in them, whether it's hypertension, diabetes, um, cancer, anything at all that they are being treated for. In terms of how it affects insurance coverage, what it would mean is specifically for our products, 
during the first six months of coverage, and this applies to both the LP and the AP, so the loan protection and the advance protector, this applies to both. Mm -hmm. During the very first six months of coverage for either of the products, if it is that the person who has the insurance were to pass away during that first six months uh, from one of their pre-existing conditions, so say they were being treated for hypertension, they on medication, whatever the case is, they came, they took out a loan, and they have the coverage, um, either it's under the LP or the AP. And in the third month of having the loan as well as having the coverage, they were to die uh, because of a heart attack and it was revealed from the medical report that this heart attack was directly attributable to the hypertension that they were being treated for. Mm -hmm. In that scenario, that would indicate to us uh, that we will not pay a benefit because it forms that, that criteria that you have been medically diagnosed or treated for um, something that caused your death. However, once you Across that six month window. So this really only applies to the very first six months. Once you cross the six month window, however, if the death were to occur from either a pre-existing condition or any other cause, we will pay the benefit. So this uh, exclusion really only applies in the very first six months of the loan that if the death um, were to be a direct um, result of something that they were being treated for, then we will not pay a claim. But once you cross that six month window, we will pay the claim once it's a valid claim. Okay. And then we, we had a follow up from the question that I asked earlier about the mm -hmm. temporary disability and whether or not monthly payments can be made rather than a lump sum. So the person, the member wanted to know, Oh, the member said, I am referring to if the loan is above 50000 and the remaining balance has to be paid. So you know in the case of uh, the loan, yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I understand that. So in that case, this is, this is where we would have to bear in mind um, that choosing the advanced protector is something that you would have to enroll for. So the LP is automatic coverage. So what that would mean is the portion of the loan that is covered by the LP up to the 50,000. So say the balance on your loan um, at the time of death was uh, 75,000. What that would mean is a claim made under LP, we will only be able to pay the maximum of the limit that uh, Nevis has, which is 50,000. Um, so that means that we will pay 50,000 and that will be applied to the loan, so it would reduce the balance. But of course, it means that there is 25,000 still outstanding because this loan um, was over the limit. Now, if it is that the balance of the loan was not protected by the advance protector, which is the other product, remember we said that that is the member paid product. This is where you are paying the premium. This is you selecting coverage for the excess. If it is that that part of the loan is not covered by the advance protector, it is um, unprotected for whatever reason if there's not even our product but another insurance product or it's not protected by shares or whatever the case is then that amount will still be like still be liable to the credit union and they will seek redress as they see fit whether it is to liquidate shares or if it is they are holding another form of collateral that they will have to liquidate in order to repay the debt in full um, However, if it's a case where the loan, um, again, using the 75,000 as an example, um, 50,000 would be protected under LP, and then the member can opt to take the advance protector coverage for the difference, which is the 25,000. So that means that your entire loan will be protected under two products. So you will be paying the premium for $25,000 coverage, so that part will be protected, and then the 50,000 will be protected under the product by the credit union. So in the event that something should happen, um, a claim under both products could be made to ensure that the entire debt is repaid. Thank you so much for that. Now, I realized earlier you mentioned under the AP that you can have mm -hmm. joint coverage. Can you elaborate on mm -hmm. this a little bit more? 
So I know it's not a, a practice generally in credit unions to have joint loans, um, but I can speak specifically for Trinidad that there are some credit unions that do that, more specifically for like mortgages. Um, so in the event that you have a loan where there are two parties um, who are, re you know, they, they've signed up and they're paying back, then they have your primary borrower and then you have your secondary borrower. And this insurance provides coverage for both parties, if it is that that is something that you offer. Thank you so much. What about anyone mm -hmm. physically at the venue? Do you have any questions that you would wish to ask or anything you wish to elaborate on? We can facilitate those as well. Okay. The chairperson of the education committee is coming forward with his Good afternoon. Uh, you spoke afternoon. to temporary disability being up to two years. My mm -hmm. question is, is it two years, does it have to be consecutive years or it can be two years spread over a period of time? Okay, that is a really excellent question and I can go into depth in terms of how the two years applies. So that rider is actually a renewable benefit. So what that means is during the term of a loan, um, I like to use mortgages because they just have really long terms. Um, so it, it gives a perfect illustration. Um, so again, using a 20 year mortgage, let's say. Um, in year five of the mortgage, I got into an accident, I was climbing a mango tree, I fell down and I broke my left leg. I'm unable to work for three months. So for that three month period, I can apply for um, under my rider to have my loan paid for the three months while my leg recovers. Um, in year 10 of my mortgage, I was um, swimming in the ocean and I hit a I don't know, a boat, right? And I have a head injury and I'm unable to work for a year. So for that period, for that year where I'm recovering, it can um, pay my loan for the year that I'm recovering. Um, if it is in year 17 of my mortgage, I am diagnosed with cancer and I am unable to work for 24 months. Um, that will be applied then. So for every new period of temporary disability, the two-year maximum would apply. So it will be dependent on how long you are unable to work for for each period of disability. But every time a disability occurs within the term of the covered loan, the two-year maximum will um, apply. Also to m mention here that the benefit is paid uh, for the loan payment amount. Um, so if your loan payment um, is $500 a month, that's what the benefit would pay. Yeah, I hope that answered. Thank you so much. I have another question here. This one came mm -hmm. via WhatsApp. I think the person is a bit shy. What are the requirements? <laughs> what are the requirements for the AP? the advanced protector. So I, I, I'm i assuming it means, um, is there anything so up. you have to enroll in it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So what because, it is, yeah, because it is a member pay product, meaning the member is responsible for paying the premium, there is an enrollment form that has to be completed, um, at which point normal KYC documentation is required, you know, current um, identification, proof of address, they have to be at least 18 years old um, in order to access coverage and you must, it goes up to age uh, 70. So you have to be under the age of 70. So between 18 and 70 is the age window for coverage. Um, just to mention that for the credit disability portion, however, um, coverage for that ends at age 60. So it's 60 and under, you can get coverage for the temporary disability. Um, but yeah, those are the ages. So once you complete your enrollment form, you send it with the loan documentation to us, you pay your first premium and subsequent premiums, then that's when the coverage uh, kicks it. 
most frequently the application is done at the time that the loan is being um, being approved mm -hmm. so everything is kind of done in one okay thank you another question what happens after the loan is repaid well hopefully you go on to take um, <laughs> well I mean sadly it's either you have passed away or you're totally and permanently disabled but the loan is repaid uh, the credit union wipes off your debt because we we the coverage pays off whatever is the outstanding balance so that means that your family your beneficiaries your loved ones don't have to worry about trying to find money to pay off whatever is your outstanding debt um, you know they don't have to think about liquidating shares or taking savings to pay off whatever is the outstanding debt that is the benefit and beauty of insurance okay thank you any any additional questions okay so a follow-up to that one what if you don't mm -hmm. die and the loan was paid <laughs> off i think you knew that was coming <laughs> yes so that's the follow-up to that one yeah so that is the thing about insurance so to think about it is the protection of the what if right because we want to ensure that if the the unthinkable does happen um that you don't pass on that financial burden to your families mm -hmm. so if it is that you know you you are able to live and your loans are repaid and we say amen <laughs> because that is what we do want. We want to have long, happy, sustainable lives and continue c contributing to our credit unions. Um, so the term for the insurance is month to month. So the premium that you pay, in exchange for that premium, you are securing a month of coverage. So every month that you pay a premium, you are getting coverage in return. So for the length of time that your loan um, is existing or you're paying your loan and it is covered by the insurance, you pay a premium and in exchange you get the coverage for the particular month that you're paying for. Okay. So once the loan is repaid, then the insurance ends. Okay, another question or comment coming from our general manager. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jarrell. You just... Not a problem. You just mentioned something there which has um, tickled my brain. A oh, month to month okay. payment for loans. Mm -hmm. Suppose the mm -hmm. loan is delinquent. What is the status of the loan in relation to claims? If a loan is payment, whether it's an LP or an mm -hmm. AP, well, no. Yeah, if the loan is delinquent but the payment is made, what is the status in relation to claims? So um, the insurance, neither of them, neither LP nor AP, provides coverage for delinquent loans. Um, so at the time of a claim, usually that's why we ask for the loan records and we ask for the account statements to see the frequency of the payments. Because if a loan, what we would pay um, would be the outstanding balance and up to 180 days of accrued interest. Uh, so anything outside of that will not form part of the ultimate benefit. The ultimate benefit. So we we do account for a certain amount of accrued interest, but if it is a, a loan that is truly delinquent, then the product does not provide coverage for delinquency. Okay, Jarrell, I have more comments and questions coming via YouTube. Sure. So mm -hmm. I see here, why are pilots, why are pilots excluded from coverage? So, um, yes, all of our products and, and all insurance products in general do have exclusions in terms of who we provide coverage for. And in this particular case, about insurance is about managing risk. Um, and in terms of who an insurance insur insurer sorry, would like to take on as um, a potential sure. client. And it is just one of those categories that falls under the excluded class, uh, particularly for these two products. 
Okay, so pilots would be excluded. What about boat captains? <laughs> Army captains, sure. Ship captains, not a problem. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. And this is a comment via the chat. Um, it's a follow-up to the question about the pre-existing conditions. So the comment reads, the definition of pre-existing is... Pre-existing is... Okay, I think they mean the definition of pre existing condition is too broad, and members should be encouraged to consult their doctor if they are being treated for any condition in order to make an informed decision. So, that's more of advice for all of us as members right. and prospective members so that we can have a better understanding of where we are health wise, so that we can give right. accurate information when making, when applying for these insurances well this insurance because yeah. the other one is is automatic and if i if i may add just to to put a little asterisk where that is concerned with pre-existing conditions um one thing that you have to bear in mind is when we are at the time of a claim when we are looking at the medical reports one of the questions that we look for is when was this condition first diagnosed um, so, of course, that is something that goes, plays into as well of, you know, whether uh, an illness or uh, an injury would meet the criteria for a claim. So I'm not saying that you should not go to the doctor, but just bear in mind that we also do look at that. Okay. So we want to make sure that our members are healthy and they take care of themselves because they have to be around for their families for a long, long time. Okay. All right. All right. Um... I don't see any more questions at this time in the MS Teams platform, the Microsoft Teams platform, but I will give persons an opportunity. If you have any last minute questions that you want to ask, now is the time to do so. And of course, you can always visit us at the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union for additional information. If there are no further questions from the floor, we want to thank Ms. Jordan as well as her colleague over in St. Kitts for being with us this evening, this afternoon, and giving us this information about the advanced protector that is relatively new, definitely new to the Nevis Credit Union, and the loan protector that has been around for quite some time, but has been a little bit too quiet for our liking. So we <laughs> want to thank you. I'll give you an opportunity to give any final words before we do our official close-off. Well, I just want to say thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share and please feel free to reach out to us. I have put up our contact information. Should anything occur to you after this session, if you just want to find out more about the products that we offer, about our services to the credit unions, please feel to reach out to us and we will be more than happy to assist. And again, thank you so much for the opportunity. So thank you very much representatives of CUNA Insurance. And we not only want to thank you for your presentation here today, but we want to thank you for that long-standing relationship that CUNA Caribbean Insurance has enjoyed with the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited. For those who may not be aware, we spoke today about the LP Loan Protector and the AP Advance Protector. But we also offer LS, which is Loan Savings, again, automatic, and we have the family indemnity plan, we call it the FIP. And so if you require any information whatsoever about any of these products that we facilitate through CUNA or CUNA facilitates through us, feel free to speak with any member of staff of the Navy's Cooperative Credit Union Limited. If we don't have the answer right away, we will definitely follow up and get back to you because most, if not all, of our members of staff are enrolled in these insurances. Definitely the FIP is a big one for our membership and, of course, our staff. So we don't want to keep it a secret. There is much to gain. And, yes, we don't like to talk about insurances. However, things do happen. And the credit union wants to ensure that in the event that something happens, you are, in fact, Covered. So thank you so much for joining us and look out for additional member ed education forum from the Nevis Cooperative Credit Union Limited. We are hoping to do one every quarter, but of course to be informed you have to follow us on our social media handles, our website www.neviscreditunion.com, 
our Facebook page, YouTube channel. We are on LinkedIn and Instagram. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye.